Hi folks, Max from GalaxySForRoot.com for this week's Verizon Galaxy S4 ROM of the week. Check out Project Chaos ROM. I really love this ROM. This ROM is based on the latest Android 4.4.2, uh, the NE2 firmware. A Project Chaos ROM brings you the latest firmware along with lots of S5 features if you want it. You can also install this ROM using SafeStrap. So for those of you with SafeStrap, um, you can go ahead and install it. Also, I did install a K-Tweaker kernel. For those of you with MDK bootloader, you do have to install the K-Tweaker kernel, but I do recommend installing K-Tweaker kernel for all of you, uh, including SafeStrap or MDK users. Um, during installation of the Aroma Graphical Installer, you'll be able to customize your own S5 apps um, if you want to install the S5 launcher. Uh, also, you'll get five additional themes uh, which I'll show you at the end of this video. Um, you'll get uh, a bunch of themes including dark blue KitKat, holo gray KitKat, Xperia, honeycomb themes, and also you can change your theme later uh, just by dirty flashing without doing a factory reset. Uh, let me show you the S5 launcher. It is super fast, um, and I actually got a S5 here, and uh, it's just as fast as the real one. Actually, it should be faster if the uh, processor, processor is a little bit faster. Um, but uh, it is modded, so it is faster than just using a regular S5 launcher. Um, you also get nice shortcuts here, a pull-up, and you can customize this by using the pull-up jab here, fake jab, and go ahead and choose your favorite apps. Um, let's say you want to launch contacts. Um, you can go ahead and do that. Oops. What you can do is close the apps after you choose it, and then it will start working for the rest of the time. Um, for overclocking with K-Tweaker kernel, if you did install it, go ahead and go to K-Tweaker here, go to main settings, um, and go to CPU, and enable OC steps, and you can overclock up to 2.3 gigahertz. Now you can try it, but on my phone it was rebooting, um, so I stepped down a little bit to 2.16 gigahertz, which seems very, very stable. And also with this, um, if you wanna set it to, um, set overclock when you reboot your phone so you don't have to go into K-Tweaker all the time. You can go here and set this to, uh, I would set it to about 20 seconds. Just in case you overclock it too much, you can go into your phone quickly and then uh, underclock it so you don't get stuck uh, with the boot loop. Uh, other than that, Project Chaos ROM comes with its own uh, custom ROM control settings, just like a KP ROM, sort of. Uh, if you go into settings here, Chaos control you get some general mods here let me show you some of my favorite stuff uh, floating window you can go ahead and enable floating window um, some of your favorite apps here let's say I want to do the browser um, you can have it floating so very nice stuff if you want to have floating window feature on your phone it is possible with this ROM and also you'll find plenty of exposed modules uh, make sure if you want to use any of the modules here, go to Framework, hit uh, Install Update here, and make sure you hit Grant there. And if it asks you to reboot, don't reboot yet. And then go to the modules and enable any of, any of these modules that you want to enable uh, and then reboot, such as Wilnom Exposed app. Um, and there are some more apps here. Gravity Box you can also use. Oops, we're for force closing. Maybe don't use that. Just go ahead and use... Uh, the when I'm exposed there we go and you will have to reboot obviously to make this work um, I haven't rebooted yet uh, other than that there's more s5 features like s5 UI sounds s5 boot animation s5 fonts um, if you've been waiting for the day to turn your s4 into s5 this is definitely one of those ROMs I mean it's feature packed so definitely give it a tr give it a try this weekend uh, and uh, let me go ahead and show you the aroma installer next let me go ahead and show you some of the options uh, in the Aroma Installer. Uh, I do recommend Wipe Data Factory Reset, of course. Um, Samsung apps, you can get the S5 uh, launcher. All right, a Note 3 camera, um, S5 gallery, if you want S5 Maya files, a bunch of apps you can choose or not to choose install. Um, some of these apps, like most of these Google apps, you can also download on the Play Store, so you can get it later if you need it. Uh, but most of the Samsung stuff, um, you should get it now if you want it. Let's say you want S-Health, uh, all of this. Um, I don't actually use this much, but uh, S-Health might be 
worth installing. Um, there's a couple different themes to choose from. Dark Blue Kit Kat, uh, S5, and I'm going to go ahead and choose Dark Blue Kit Kat uh, because I feel like it. Actually, you know what? Let's do the S5. Um, battery styles, a bunch of different battery styles. Uh, let's go with Blue X Barrier just for the hell of it. Icons, um, I'm going to just go ahead and go with the S5 icons. Also, um, phone theme, um, you can get stock with call recording or S5 with call recording, uh, probably a good choice. Also, S5 contacts, um, if you want to turn your S4 into S5, sort of, um, that's probably the way to go. A bunch of more theme options, so a ton of great ways uh, to customize your phone. Of course, AOSP or S5 browser or S4 browser. Uh, Viper for Android, I highly recommend. The best app for tweaking your sound on Android. Uh, of course, you'll want S5, everything S5, or whichever you want to do. Um, also, you can enable AOSP lock screen there. And that's pretty much it. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM. Really looking good. Project Chaos. Love this ROM. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list if you have a Galaxy S4 at galaxyS4root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.